Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name's Alex, and today we're gonna to be building out an automated HubSpot meeting chatbot in Webflow. Let's get into it. Okay, so today we're gonna to be building out this chatbot that you can see right here on the front page of my website. This is an automated chatbot that automatically schedules and books meetings with potential future clients. It's awesome. We're gonna do this in three main steps. Firstly, we're gonna build out the actual meeting and meeting logic inside of HubSpot. Secondly, we're gonna build out the chatbot and the chatbot logic inside HubSpot. And then thirdly, I'm gonna show you how to embed that chatbot onto our Webflow page. Now, all of this is gonna be timestamped in the description below, so no problem if you wanna skip ahead and go to the part that you need. But enough talking, let's get right into it. Okay, so we're gonna start right off here in HubSpot. Okay, so the best part about this is this is completely free inside HubSpot. So just set up a little trial account for HubSpot and we can do all of this for free, it's awesome. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come into sales and then go down to meetings. And with our free trial, we automatically get this one meeting that populates for us. So that's the one we're gonna use. We only get one, but it's a totally free thing, so we can't complain. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here, we're gonna hit this edit button, just hover over the meeting, hit edit. And we can see here's kind of our options that we can do for our meeting. So we can see we have a one-on-one -on -one meeting type. We can't change this on our free trial. We can change the internal meeting name. So I'm just gonna call it like free strategy call. Just so if anyone is on our website and they wanna to talk to us for a strategy call or whatever you need for your client, you know, name that here. Title, free strategy consult. Don't need a location. Um, I could add, like if I'm using Zoom or Skype, I could add that here. I'm not gonna do that here, but, but it's very self-explanatory if you need to. Description, you know, in this call we'll discuss X, Y, Z. Whatever you need for your business, okay? So that's that, let's hit save. We'll go to scheduling. We'll give our um, meeting schedule a title. So I'll just, I'll just name it my name. We have duration options here. So, you know, we can have 45 minute meetings, hour and a half meetings, all of this is too long. I just want, I'll just stick with 30 minute meetings. Change this as you need. So we'll have 30 minute meetings. My time zone, I will be available Monday through Friday. We'll expand here, do some, just check our additional settings. Um, I'm just gonna show my avatar, that's fine. Period of rolling weeks, this will be like the date range that people can book their meetings with us for. So this week and next week. So if a client comes to my page and they wanna book a meeting, they can book a meeting with me this week or next week, so a nice two week rolling period. But you have different options here. You know, you, you, can, have, you can let them book out 10 weeks in the future, whatever you need. I want a minimum notice time of a day. It, this won't let them book anything today. It gives me at least a day to make sure that the call fits into my schedule. You can set buffer times or start time increments, which I'll set to 30, so every 30 minutes there'll be a new meeting. And that's perfect. So that's scheduling. We'll come to automation and that's fine. We'll just leave that there for now. So we'll go back to meetings. You can see we have our free strategy call meeting right here. 30 minute duration, one-on-one. -on -one. Perfect. We've set up our meeting. It's that easy. Now step two is we need to build out our actual chat bot. So to do that, we're gonna come up here to conversations and we're gonna come down to chat flows. Let's click that. And here's a chat flow page. I'm gonna hit create chat flow. Now we have two options here. We can either do a Facebook Messenger chat flow or we can do it for our website, which is what we're gonna do because we're gonna put this on our Webflow website today. We're gonna hit website. Now I get a bunch of different options here. I get a live chat option, a knowledge base. And then if I scroll down, I have a bunch of these bots. This is what we want today. So we wanna set up a meeting bot, which is gonna be the bot that lets us book meetings with potential clients. So we'll choose that, meetings bot. Go to next. We'll leave inbox selected. So now this is where we actually link the meeting that we just made to this meeting bot. You can see right here on this meetings link, we're just gonna come down here and there's our free strategy call meeting that we just set up two minutes ago. So we're gonna link that there, perfect. And we're gonna hit create. Now, with this meetings bot, we get like this workflow that we can actually customize as we need. So basically this just lets us control what the user sees in the chatbot based on like if then logic. So what we need to do here is to set up a meeting, we need a first name and we need an email. So those are the fields we need to capture before we can actually set up a meeting automatically with these potential clients. So let's just dive in here, it's very self-explanatory. 
So we have a welcome message here. We can change this to anything we want. So I'll just say, hi there. Are you interested in talking to a member of our team? Okay, so that'll be the first message that they see. So that's perfect, we'll save that. Now we wanna get the name, so we can just change this message as well. To get started, please type your name below. Something like that. You can change that to whatever you want. Perfect. You can see that we're saving whatever they type in here. After this, we're going to save to the HubSpot property of contact name. That's what we need, like I said earlier, to actually book a meeting. We need email and contact name. So we have contact name. And then you can see right here, we're going to ask for email. So we'll come right in here and we'll say, they just gave us their name. So we'll say, thanks. Please let me know the best email to send the meeting invite to. Something like that. You can see here, we're going to save this to our email property in HubSpot. You can set an error message as well. If the email is janky, we're going to hit save. And then we're going to come down here to our book a meeting workflow and we're going to open it up. Now, as you can see, we have three reference properties that I've been mentioning. We have email and then first and last name. Those are all things that we have collected in these first three messages. So once we have all three of those, we can send them a meeting link. So again, we're going to link to our free strategy call meeting and we can do a successful booking message if we want. Awesome. Your meeting is booked. I think is good. That's all perfect. We don't need to touch any of that. So it's super easy. Okay. So we've done two things. Firstly, we built out our meeting. Secondly, we built out our chat bot and linked our meeting to that chat bot. And thirdly, now we just need to embed this into our Webflow site. So let me show you how to do that. It's very simple. So what we need to do is we need to come in here to profiles and preferences. You're going to come all the way down here on the left to inbox and then inboxes. Okay. So we're going to come down here to channels. You can see that we have a chat channel, but it's disconnected. So we need to connect it. So we're just going to come here to connect. It's going to give us something called a tracking code. Okay. So this tracking code is very important. This is what we're going to embed into our Webflow site. That's going to let our chat bot appear on our site, on our live site. So it's very simple. All we need to do is copy this, copy this code. We're going to come back to Webflow. You're going to go to the page that you want to put your meeting bot on. So in this case, I want to put it on my homepage. So I'm going to come here to page settings, my homepage settings. I'm going to scroll down. I don't want the head section. I want the body section. So you're going to come down here to the before body tag section, and then I'm just going to paste it. I'm going to hit save and then I'm going to publish. And now when I go to my live site, can see that I have this beautiful chat bot right here. And if I open it, well, here we go. I can type my name, book a call, type your name below to get started. Perfect. I'll type that in. The meeting bot responds to me automatically with the logic that we put in in step two. Thank you. Can I get an email? I'll send you a calendar invite. No problem. Here's my email. What day works best for me? Isn't this nice? <laughs> I don't know. Let's do a uh, Thursday. What time works best? Ah, we'll do a lunch meeting. Done. Awesome. Your meeting is booked and that's it. So I will get an actual meeting invitation to Google Hangouts or Zoom or Skype or whatever you linked. And we will have a meeting on the books automatically for Thursday, March 31st at noon. So anyways, we did it guys. That's it. So if you're still watching, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching to the end of this video. I hope you got some value out of it. If you like this video, go down and smash that like button for me. It really helps. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, please consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. And again, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Peace.